Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name's Tammy. Thank you so much for taking your time out of your day to watch some of ours. Today I did my grocery shop. I generally do that every Saturday. I start off at Aldi and then I finish off at Coles generally. And then if there's anything extra sort of left in the budget and we want to get a few extra things, I'll probably pop back to Aldi and just pick up those last few things. But I wanted to show you guys what I got in the grocery shop today. We did have to stock up on a few toiletries and meat, so it was a little bit more expensive than what I have been spending lately. Um, there's also something that I wanted to show you. It's something that I won. Matt picked it up last night. I've been really excited about this, and I can't wait to have a pick tonight to be able to use it. But let's just jump into the haul. price that I won. I won this awesome Bakerstone Basics um, pizza board knife and tray from Bunnings. We went to a Father's Day function the other night and we got the door prize. So that was really cool. I'm very excited that I won that and I can't wait to put it to good use. As far as the things from Aldi that I purchased this week, I've never actually tried this but it looked really delicious and I wanted to give it a go. It is the boneless roasting chicken. Um, this one's got um, apricot and cranberry stuffing. So I thought that sounded really, really yummy. We'll probably have that for lunch tomorrow and then the leftovers for dinner tomorrow night. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's the chicken thigh steaks with lemon and herb flavor. These are $7.50. Um, I just really enjoy them. They're such an easy thing just to have in the fridge, even just at lunchtime to just quickly cook it up and put it in a sandwich or something. Super delicious pretty affordable and I really enjoy them so I'll pick those up the next thing that I picked up was some more beef mints I tend to buy the big packet and then split it up and freeze it into smaller packets it's a lot cheaper that way and also it defrosts a lot quicker because I make it really thin so I grabbed some of that and also some lamb shanks we've been having them a lot the last few weeks especially since it's been so cold so it's really nice to have them I put them in the slow cooker and cook them all day and they're really really soft and tender and then I also picked up some potatoes. They were on sale this week, I think for like $4 for five kilos, which was a good price. I grabbed some more nappies. These are the nappies I've been buying lately. I think they're like $16 for 72 nappies. They work out to be 22 cents a nappy, which I think is super good and very affordable. They seem to fit Sam a lot better than the Huggies these days and they're so much cheaper. So we've been buying them lately. I got some more just crackers for Matt and also you can see a little mouse has been in to the biscuits already. Some Teddy Tots for Sam. He really enjoys them. They're individual serving sizes so they're easy to take on the go. Okay, so now for the stuff that we did get from Coles. Um, milk, we always get milk. We probably get three or four of these a week. I did pick up some dry shampoo this week, some deodorant for Matt and some conditioner for me, which the lid is open, that's not good. I also got a couple of packets of bread rolls. I generally freeze them. They're handy to have on hand just in case Matt wants to take a sandwich for lunch with leftover dinner. I picked up some eggs because tomorrow is Father's Day and I'm sure Matthew would love a nice Father's Day breakfast. We also have some cabana and suppressor salami so I can do a cheese platter for Matt tomorrow considering it is Father's Day. We have some onions, some tomatoes, a red onion, capsicum and mushrooms. Then coming down here we've got some chocolate. Shh, don't tell Matt. That is my guilty pleasure and I typically hide it and then just munch on it over a couple of days. Um, the next thing I got was some hummus dip. Coles used to have another dip. It was um, cheese and chives. I think that was it. Cheese and chives. And it was so good and they stopped bringing it into their store. So... Um, I have asked them to bring it back, but in the meantime, I just got some hummus. The next thing I got was some Farmer's Union iced coffee. If you're from South Australia, you will know all about this. This is the best iced coffee in the world. Um, no, in seriousness though, it's really, really good. And it says dad on it, and I thought that was really cute. And we're going to put that with Matt's Father's Day present for tomorrow morning. I also got one because... It's coffee and I needed some coffee today. And then I got some carrots and then just the last few things that I picked up was some minced cottage pie. The only way that I can get vegetables into Sam lately has been to make these little cottage pies. I've been putting them in individual serving size containers and then just bringing one out for lunch for him every day. So at least I know he's getting a serve of veggies. Um, it's been working really well. He's eating it and I've just stuck it full of veggies for him so he doesn't even realize he's eating them. I also got the garlic and herb lamb shanks meal mix. Um, that's what we've been having with our lamb shanks lately and it's been really, really nice. And then Matt has really been enjoying the best ever beef burgers mix in his burgers that we've been doing at home as well. That's pretty much it for our shopping this week. I do need to go and pick up a couple of things that I forgot. I need to get a can of tomatoes 
and what was the other thing? Oh, a couple of zucchinis. But other than that, that's pretty much all we need. We've got a lot of the other stuff already in the fridge from last week. So just trying to use up the things that we've already got as well as just topping up our freezer. We won't obviously eat all of this meat in one week. This is probably like a couple of weeks worth of meat, but I like to buy it in bulk and then split it up into separate meals. Oh, you know you're a mama when you have to hide this YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we will see you in our next video.